Welcome everybody, this is A Below Par Production. My name is Elliot. I'm commentating here, joined by Jacob. Hello Jacob. Hi Elliot. Uh, we are we ready for the big clash of the Titans of Group 8? 1 vs 2 in the preliminary final. That means that whoever wins this game will go through to the grand final with a chance to take out the entire division. Here's Chuck. He's good to go and straight away we're into the action. Hole 1. Solid looking drive from Chucky there. It's going to leak a little bit left at the end. Good but for overall, distance. Overall, it's good. Solid drive. Good way to start the match. And we've got Nick going to his famous flick. You'll see a lot of that from Nick today. Predominantly a forehand player and likes to use those overstable discs on flex lines. Yeah, a bit of a, what is it, softball background? Yes, and yeah, a good softball player. Great picture from what I've heard. And the stats there on the screen, you can see here that Chuck went through the league undefeated, plus 75 overall. Interestingly, Nick has scored less over his games, but managed to take two losses. What does that tell us, Jacob? Uh, I think it's just a bit of consistency from Chucky, and knows how to come up with the big games when he needs to, and this is certainly a big game. Um, be interesting to see how Nick plays this one. Obviously, coming into it with a bit of form, it'll be, uh, I think it'll be the putting that'll make, make or break these two, to be honest with you. Here's Chuck from 25. Gives it a huge run. Oh, ooh, just stayed in bounds there. He was quite lucky with that one. Toying with the out of bounds. Like, Nick throws. Nick. Oh, great bid. It's a great confident part, part to start. Oh, and we got a slow mo. Just high left chains and didn't stick. That's a great confident run, though. Um, I'm sure we'll capitalize on a few more throughout the round. Chuck sinks it for a nice three to get started. And Nick does too, so. No damage done here. It's a nice solid start for the both of them. Get the nerves out of the way and into a great hole two. Ah, a great hole two? <laughs> Maybe it's spoken well, too soon. Uh, yeah, might have, might have jinxed him on that one. Let's see if Nick can make up for it. It's Nick with the hooia. And turns it over straight away. It's panning out, but Ooh. it's looked like he was maybe going for the goal there. Follow the leader. He does have a soccer match, level football match, sorry, later in the day, doesn't he? He does, yeah. Uh, Hornby Honey Badger. And um, if you do find a hooia, I believe Nick has lost one out there somewhere. It's somewhere, there's a purple hooia <laughs> near hole 15. It's been, been MIA for about two months, so if you find it, it would be uh, glad to be returned. Here he goes with a high line. Not sure, maybe that's his zone. Yep, looks like it's just curling up. So a long look. Yeah, they're both left with long par looks here. Um, see if he gives, gives a bit of a run. You see Sam down there behind the basket. Sam recorded some catch cam for us with his phone on this day. Hugely appreciated. We've got some really good angles later in the uh, in the game. Yeah, great job, Sam. Jake with a bit of a run there as well. Just leaking a little left again with the Heiser putt. Now this is in range for sure. Going through the full routine. I do like how he's a solid routine. Keeps it consistent. It'll definitely help the confidence each time you come up to putt. Chucky putting with harps. Not often see putts with harps, but he goes for it. And here you can see that the boys opted not to play hole three at this point in time. Just felt like it was a little too much of a risk with the kids down this end of the pitch and the prams and the children and sort of everyone around. So a good call, I think. So straight through the hole five, looked like there was some congestion on hole four. It's a big drive from Chucky there. Hey, Craig, do you mind just asking them to get out of the way quickly so I can drive? Good call, I'd say. Should be fine, I just don't want to risk it. And Craig's letting the, uh, sp uh, the football spectators know that there might be something coming through here, but let's see. That was a super smooth flip. He's blasted that and killed it just up be uh, long behind the basket. What a great drive. That's an outstanding drive from Nick there. We're looking to convert that into a bit nice birdie. Chucky giving it a go. Lifted a little short, but easy par from there. He does like a good step putt, doesn't he? Really commits to them. Here's Nick for birdie. That's unlucky. Didn't look like he had 100% commitment there and just dropped it low a little bit. Yeah. Not the part of the basket that you want to hit, unfortunately. But a par's a par. No damage done. A nice tight even game going on here. Mm. Three holes, even though we skipped a couple. Both are sitting at plus one. Let's see what Jackie can do here. Ooh. That's um, left. 
Yep, you've got to watch out for the OB Creek, and Chucky seems to have gone straight for it. We've seen that before. It's a huge forehand from Nick, though. A little bit long. Might have a scary putt coming back. Chucky curling one up around the tree. Ooh, well done. Well done. It's tough up from there. This uh, green isn't easy to approach to if you leave it short or long. It really isn't. It just it loves to slide down into the creek there, which plays as OB, even when it is dry. And they've both managed to stick their up shots, and they will have looks at pars. Chucky with some foliage in the back of the head. Doesn't bother him, though. It's a great straight apart there. In the zone. He loves it. <laughs> Pargol's good goal from Craig there. Just giving the boys some words of wisdom. Always words of wisdom from Craig Pargold. Chucky throwing, looks like a fairway driver maybe, and laces it. Wow, that is beautiful. He's given himself a super one look there, which he'll be thrilled about. Nick going for the forehand zone. And the forehand probably isn't the play on here. Let's see what he can do from a bit of scramble position. Going to his backhand, he doesn't use this very often. Looks awkward. Ooh. Ended up in a good spot. Probably a little lucky to get through those branches. It was very effective though. He's left himself a nice, hopefully up and down routine. Open look. Tip up to the basket. Yikes. And it's the one tree. The one tree that was... Yep, the one thing you want to miss there. Did really well to scramble out into the open and then brought the tree into the game. Here he is to save bogey. That's got to hurt. Chucky down here. Nick's taken four shots. This one is his second. He can really apply some pressure here. That's a great part. Drains it. Big swing in the points as well. And it's Ooh. a birdie. Nice little animation there as well. You can make it's, that one yourself. It's a birdie. I sure did. Uh, might be because uh, Chucky's part of the birdie gang. Maybe. So here we are, the boys getting a little bit of coaching. From two players that have got a lot of give back to the to give back to the game. Yeah, well, Sam's quite a forehand dominant player himself as well, so he hopefully giving Nick a few pointers and tips and where he can clean up. And hopefully just a few positive comments because you go three back on one hole, you, you're going to want to bounce back. So hopefully whatever he's saying is going to help Nick uh, fight back. I'd say. Well, what do you reckon Craig's got to say to Chucky? Uh, par golf's good golf, and uh, probably something about turnovers. <laughs> You're not wrong there. That was a turnover. It was a turnover. It's hit the tree to the right early. Nick. The Katare. Hits the ground, hits the tree, ends up in the middle of the fairway. Mm, he's left himself with a long look there. There's Chuck. Bit of ground play. Skips it in really wow. nicely. Wow. That was very well done. Absolutely outstanding. Well done. Here's Nick. We have some little awkward straddle here. Bugger. Terrible. Whiffed it. Chuck. Sinking him. That's another par for Chuck. Nick's had a couple of tough holes. Back to back double bogeys. That is going to hurt. So it's going to test his mental resolve. Let's see if he can bounce back. Chuck. Off hole nine. That looks destined for out of bounds, but catches oh, the tree. It's a great tree there. Tree's really saved his ass. Nice forehand hole, this one. Yep. Puts it on top of the hill there. That's a good spot to be if you're just looking to make a free. Here's Chuck, curling one round. Nice little up shot there. He'll be feeling good. He's been making all of them putts from there today, so. He's been automatic so far. He'll be looking to keep that going through, through the rest of the holes. A little, little bit of indecision here. Looks mm. like he's putting away the other one and going to the zone and going to one knee. Wow, bit of commitment here. Just looking to change the uh, angle and the height. Little Still flex, little focus. flick. Yeah. Beautiful. That's a great up shot. Definitely made the right choice there. Now we have Chucky, see if he can clean up. Uh, take his par and move on to the next. He's automatic. Safe as houses. No worries there, say thank you. I'd uh, put that down to Craig's words of wisdom, to be honest with you. Oh, what's Sam up to? Yo. Hello. Scoremaster Craig was doing the scoring for them on the day. Just taking a, a little bit of load off the boys. Good fella. He laced, he's hit the gap. He's, oh, 
Beautiful. Giving himself a great birdie look, Nick. There is a forehand line here. He's always a forehand line if you look hard enough. <laughs> Try telling Nick there's not a forehand line. <laughs> it wasn't a good forehand line, though. Uh, he's got a, an open look to the basket. Now, will he run it? I always respect a run. Let's see what he's got. Hard to say whether that's a run or not. Try with another birdie. Bang, bang. That's a great putt. Again, I feel like I'm saying that a lot, but he's been cashing them in today. Here's Nick making his par. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Look out. Whoa. Well. <laughs> Goodness oh, yeah. me. Let's Crikey. move on. Alrighty. Right, Chuck's like thrown out. He's gone early left. Nick with the distance driver once again. Hits the tree early and, and sends it out to the left as well. Nice little grouping here. Looking at pretty much the same shot. Just got to keep it nice and low with that ceiling. We're going to get two different shots because one of them likes backhands and one of them likes forehands. What's Chuck got with his backhand? Oh, no. <laughs> that looks like a local route and probably not one that anybody should be taking. Tell you what though, he didn't hit a single tree. Absolutely <laughs> pured the gap, just not the gap that he was after. Neck down on one knee, standing up again, Ooh. again with this zone. He's been going to the still series zone a lot. It's just dropped out the air, unfortunately. It's giving him a long, long look. Putting. That's, Good height. That's a lot. Bit, that's a lot more confident from him, though. Yeah. Be, you know, even though he missed, I think he'd be feeling a lot better. And uh, Chucky's actually got a gap here through the trees. Stepper. Ooh. He's giving them good bids though. Yeah, good might bids. have gone in if it was online. Good putt from Nick there. Nice, he'd be feeling, feeling better about that one. Again, a little bit of confidence. Ripping one over the water, Chuck is. Well, he's made sure it hasn't gone on the pond, that's for sure. Definitely wasn't going wet unless it was going in the jelly park pool. Another flick. The hooey this time, I believe. Massive flick. Looks there. high. Hits the tree. Nice. Parks up. Filters through for a short booty putt. <laughs> That's got to be good for his confidence. He'll be uh, looking to pull a few strokes back. He is sitting six behind now. But um, these these few these stretcher holes can make or break around. So honestly, anything can happen in this pool. Yeah. Right? How good's Jelly Park? Lovely shots. Absolutely beautiful scenery. Especially in the autumn with all the leaves falling oh. down. Here's That's Chuck for two. Top of the basket. And it just sits, which is fortunate because occasionally those ones roll all the way down. Can be a scary putt coming back that way with the hill. Next, slopes. straddling out. Hope he himself to up. Better look. Oh yeah, hey, that's a birdie. And Chuck. So consistent from that range today. So Nick pulls one back. Still five back. What have we got here? Right hand Tomahawk. And it flare skips up. Wow. And sits. Catches that tree. We, we might have another straight look uh, for, a, for a, another bird. I would take that spot every single time if I could. Most of the time, yeah. I'm hitting one of those trees early. That's the uh, first forehand I've seen Chucky throw. Yep. He doesn't throw it often, but he's got himself a, up the fairway. Maybe a, an Anaheiser look around the tree here. He's up the Mandel's May. That's probably the main thing that both players are going for with this hole. Gives it a floaty bit. Oh. oh. Damn, that was close. So close. So he's running it, he's here to play. He's been running all of them today with the confidence that he has to make the comebacks. Why would you not? Nice. Nick cashing in again, it's back to back birds. Just showed up. Now I have to play my worst hole. <laughs> not my worst hole, it's just. Uh, so you won't see this very often, but uh, backhand by Parks. Alright, let's see it. Can't wait for this one, should be good. Line up the swing. Little step. Oh dear. Wow, we. Yeah. Might explain it. For good reason, it seems. Here's Chuck. Looks like he's going for a mid range, maybe. He's get down, he's coming in with some heat. It has come in far too hot and goes OB. Fortunately, you get a one meter from the rope there, which makes the par quite simple. Nick here, looking to get par himself. Flicks it. Flicks it, and that looks like it's. Get it onto the road, oh. he's frustrated. Here he is to save his bogey. He's going to put this one in, minimize the damage now. He has had those back to back 30s, so. <laughs> oh. Soul destroying stuff. You really feel for him there. I do feel that one, that's, that 
Yeah, it's not finished. We've all missed a putt like that. You can see the frustration. For good reason as well. Craig looks confused because that wasn't a par. Craig's always confused, but it might just be the Pokemon on screen, I reckon. He's definitely bad. He's been caught out there. <laughs> Here we go, Chucky throwing a big Anheuser on this hole. Probably can't get much safer than that. I do like the safe play there, though. He does have six shots on that currently. And like he's going to get some more. Nick's looking to force something here ooh, and ooh. has sent his guitar out. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, who put that speed bump there? Just killed up, unfortunately. Stayed OB. I was thinking that might have came back without the speed bump. <laughs> Hard to say. He's not happy with it. From OB that line. Down to it. Catches the tree ooh. just at the end. He is using the entire course, though. Here's Chuck. He's not been afraid of a run. What's he got? A little stutter step and the stepper. And... It's par. Good par though. What? Nick can't find his disc. <laughs> so, hang on. Confused. Where'd it go? Oh, oh good work. Good go. work from the uh, pedestrian slash spectator there. Yeah. Saved us a, a wee bit of time. And he's got to head back out to that tree for some sort of look. He's got a straddle. Waste no time and six it. He loves these. He's been banging those straddle putts all day though. It's uh, should be a bit of a go-to now, I reckon. You'd almost think he'd use that as a regular putt. He's really been landing them more than the other ones. Yeah. Here's Chucky. Stuff, stuff. And yeah. sinks it. Right. Hole 16. The par 4. What a try. This looks this looks good. Nice and out there. Clean through the fairway. Bit of distance. And gets the Can round of applause. applause. It must have been sensational. See what Nick can follow up with. If he wasn't feeling good before, he's feeling nice. good now. Nick laces it as well. Wow. The big okay. flare skip too. That is exactly what a dog would like. Didn't end up pooping out a bit of contact with the trees there. As well as a push through, through though, so you might have a open up the basket. Yep. Through the gaps, okay, I suppose. Should be a par from here. Nick probably has a look for Birdie if he can get this right. It was a great drive. Great distance there. Anywhere up there, he's uh, got a nice open look to the basket. If you want to yeah. convert his bird. I don't think I've ever got mine that far, so full credit for that drop. And to the zone on the knees. Oh, nice little flex there. It needs to sit, it's coming in hot. And it sits. He's got a nice little look there for a... What was it? Birdie. It is for a birdie. Birdie. Ooh, killed it nicely. You. Chuck. It's got in, got, got in stable. Up by the plinth, but he's feeling good from here. Yeah, I don't and think he should have any trouble. With this. He's just got the round of applause for his drive. He'll be feeling great. Got ice in his veins. He can't miss. Captain Clutch. Must be the sunnies. Nick. Oh dear. That's tough. A that little bit tough. of camera nerves, perhaps. It is his first time on film. And uh, disc golf isn't his main sport either. So. No, yeah, he's a uh, ex New Zealand dodgeball player. Which is <laughs> yeah. Good. He looks like he's dodging the uh, inbounds here, so he's going to have to <laughs> tee off again. Much better shot this time. This that one crossed, and he's uh, he'll be up there. It'll filter through for some sort of. Long look, maybe through the gap. Chuck running them again, just runs all day. You've got to respect it. Solid up there. Yeah, tap that one out. A bit frustrating, but nice part there. All right. And the whole 18. Heisering out. Hits the tree and the creek. Probably not a bad spot there. He should have a nice little open look. Don't be too bad. Yeah, you, you just. What do you know? Another forehand. You don't want to be right behind that tree, but anywhere else is all right. And, um, there might be a little nice open look there. It's a nice look, but it'll be open. Nick from in the creek. He's got to run this. He's got a few strokes to make up. With the... <laughs> what? We've got two holes left, is it? After this? Two holes. Yeah, just the two that we skipped. Chuck. Oh, he's fearless. He just goes for all of them. But he knows that he can because he makes all of these parts. This is unreal. Right, back to hole three.
So Sam's just been down there talking to some of the spectators and letting them know that there are flying discs coming through and just to be aware. Let's see what Chuck's got for us. Keeping it nice and low is what you want. Sliding it up there. Here's Nick. Forehand line maybe a little less safe. But it looks like the kids have cleared out just in time. It looks like those guys were watching it the whole way fortunately and nobody got hurt. Oh. Probably an appropriate reaction for a shot that maybe should have not been taken. Oh, all sorts of action going on here. Yeah, Chuck with his up shot, then... Wow. Gone for the skip. Choosed. He just left that a little bit long. Oh, Nick in space, receives the ball, <laughs> and heads up the wing it looks. He might have given up on the disc golf for the day. Oh, oh and Nick in space again! Oh, one two, one two, surely. With the assist, maybe? Looks like carnage out there. Nick though, needs to focus in for this putt. Looks like he might have been a little bit distracted. Left it a little short. <laughs> I was like, let's just go for like the skipping. Oh, oh, that's why he smiles. Then flashbacks, bit of deja vu to what could have been. Had a good skip on hole seven there. Looks like he maybe was just trying to go for it. Not quite. Sorry, hole eight that was. Oh, well. Here he is from 20, 25, somewhere out there. I'm trying to clean this up. Whoa. A great bears. Maybe lost a little confidence about juicing that one long. That's okay. Nick sinks the par, and we're straight into hole four. The guys were playing Ooh. from the football pitch, and maybe a bit rushed, <laughs> and has juiced it off to the right. He's just in full of drink. excitement at the moment. Nick's throwing his flick. It's cut oh, roll. It's that... off. <laughs> Might be lucky there. Yeah, it looks like it just curled up and down. So Nick again. Nice and dry. Looking to scramble the zone. Back to the tour series zone, he's been leaning on it all day. Bang. <laughs> Donked the tree, middle of the trunk. Here he is again with the zone. Sure, he can't throw this in at this point. Oh, too much gear. Ooh, soft <laughs> what do we have here? What is going on? Well, I guess this is full commitment from Craig the Park Gold. <laughs> Just wants to be a part of the action in whatever way he can. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Unfortunately, there's not doubles today, though. Of course, it's a bid. I think this is like, you know, probably the only one of first ones he's missed all day, though. It's good to see the confidence is still flowing. Good solid part to finish from Nick. It's a good way to clean it up, fellas. Two bogeys to finish. The score, plus two and plus ten. What was your take, boys? What did you think of the game? Chuck just played with his tits on. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a tense match to start with, and then a couple of mistakes by Nick just sort of opened the door for me to play a bit more freely. I just gotta get out of my head. And that's the biggest thing. Caleb played an amazing shot on seven and it just got in my head. Had to try and make it par and then double bogey and then it just went downhill from there. So. Yeah, pretty stoked for my first ever birdie on hole seven. Some challenging conditions out there with about a thousand kids as obstacles. If there's kids on three and you think you can go around them, you're just gonna go at them, so probably don't take that line, eh? But I'm um, looking forward to the rematch because I'm sure Nick's gonna get the. Um, Take all the wins out of three and four and meet him again in a couple of weeks. Not if I play like that, but I'll be running putts and they'll be sinking. When we skip three and four, like having five and having that birdie look and missing it and just being like, and I was just shitting myself for a missed opportunity the whole time being like, but it's just like I gave myself that look and that's, that's the important thing. Truly. Yeah. Whereas you had a shit drive and I was just like, this is my chance to get one up, whereas I should just be playing myself and like not worrying about your game. That's yeah, I think, I think nailing the birdie on like seven was just like just gave me that confidence, just like you know. Like that, that was, was like pretty shaky here at the start. It was a three shot bonus for you, and then I was just like thinking, oh crap, like I could get like a birdie or two on you, but three shots, is, and then another bit happened. Oh, like, yeah, then I got two more. Yeah, I got five shots on there and seven and eight. And I was just thinking about the score, whereas it's just like kind of if you could play in isolation like the other person and just like not know what they're scoring. Still undefeated in the league.
<laughs> Take that right to the cup. Oh, geez, just... I guess if I can make it back to the final, I've got nothing to lose. Good stuff, guys. Good yeah. luck for the rematch. Cheers. Cheers, Tack. And there we have it. Jacob, your thoughts on the game? I think overall it was a pretty tight game, even if the scorecard doesn't reflect it. I was very impressed with the Knicks forehand overall, nice and smooth, obviously from that softball background. Um, but I think overall the the difference was, was just Chucky's putting. He was just automatic. Uh, the confidence was flowing the whole time. So I think at the end of the day, that was the deal breaker for them. I agree. Chuck's putts inside five metres probably took the game. Thank you everyone for watching A Below Par Production. I'm Elliot, been joined by Jacob. Like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Catch you later.